What is happening, my friends? Vitaly Dubin is here and welcome to another episode of today's in crypto show. I'm wearing this cash is king t-shirt because everyone that held some cash in the last two months on the sidelines is feasting right now, looking at so many bargains that we are seeing in the crypto markets as absolutely everything is crashing right now except few exceptions bitcoin is down ethereum is battered solana is battered even more and today i'm going to show you proof that right now we are reaching some historical and legendary levels and incredible buying opportunities and why the fundamentals are so strong right now despite the bearish price action this is accumulation time the miners are not selling there is a lot of good on-chain metrics that are showing guys that this is a great time to buy and definitely not panic sell but i understand people who are entering the space in the last couple of months are totally freaking out right now looking at the current prices and we have seen this before so let's get started we have a lot to cover yes there's a bloodbath right now everything is crashing ethereum two thousand two hundred dollars today binance uh, coin minus 10 percent bitcoin is hitting thirty three thousand five hundred dollar approximately cardano below one dollar solana eighty three dollars oh my gosh Terra $61. It's pretty, pretty terrible situation right now in the markets. Uh, Polygon $1.34. And this is exactly why right now this is the legendary, legendary buying opportunities in the crypto markets. The fear is extremely high in the market and you can see what's going on uh, technically speaking with the breakout of this uh, descending channel over here we can take a measured move from the top to here and you can you can see that uh, we can be we can face in you know thirty thousand dollars thirty thousand five hundred dollars as and uh, you know the technical point target of this break to the downside so this exactly correlates to our very very strong support that we have seen during the summer of may and july and this is the also the average buying price of michael sailor from micro strategy thirty thousand and six hundred dollars approximately failure to hold this level and breaking this level would mean some serious serious trouble and uh you know some serious bear market that are that are ensuing if you fail to break it thirty thousand dollars we can fall to as low as twenty four thousand dollars that's the next stop uh i do you know if if you of course fail to hold thirty thousand uh, dollars mark then that's the next target to anticipate but we are not there yet we're right now at the lowest point on the rsi on a daily that we have seen during the march 2020 that's how it feels right now uh, this sell-off that took bitcoin from ten thousand dollars to three thousand dollars three thousand eight hundred dollars that's the kind of feeling that we are seeing right now on a daily rsi some legendary buying opportunities right now ethereum is hammered right now you can see it's fallen 54 percent since the previous all-time high and also on a very oversold position and uh, you can see on the weekly we have not been in such an oversold position ever since essentially december 2018 some legendary buying opportunities right now are looming we're going to take a look at different uh, on-chain metrics right now as bitcoin dies below thirty three thousand dollars briefly with a fresh new of sell-offs and uh, that level represents the start of CME future ga gap left over July 2021. Those CME futures usually tend to fill up sooner rather than later. And this is the gap that we are seeing right now around $32,000 uh, that uh, is, is to be filled, you know, from the previous essentially uh, holdings. That was in July. So right now we are feeling that. 
Adam Beck is saying the weekends are scams. Zooming out, investor behavior, meanwhile, appeared to counter concern over short-term sellers. In fact, the percentage of Bitcoin unmoved for 12 months or more just hit 60%, which is higher than after March uh, 2020 COVID crash, higher than at the end of 2015-16 bear market, and higher than the end of 2018-19 bear market. So you can see by the hodlways on-chain data on Glassnode, we are doing better than we are doing 2018 bear market uh, when the drawdown was over 80%. Um, yeah, Ethereum, Solana is getting battered uh, right now. But look at illiquid supply. It's going up relentlessly. That's an important indicator that uh, we are seeing that essentially this illiquid supply, what it means is that uh, the coins are, have not been moving. The long-term holders have not been selling. They have been accumulating <coughs> all the time, right? Uh, so Bitcoin nears a generational bottom. From $39,000 to current lows of $34,000, Bitcoin show no mercy. Liquidation mountain sentiment took a fresh beating. Um, now let's look at uh, where Bitcoin trading relative to historical valuation. The current the network's on-chain cost basis is $24,000. That's how much it costs to produce. And you can see that Bitcoin records all-time high network difficulty. So despite the price fluctuation, the Bitcoin network recorded its higher than ever mining difficulty. Look at this. The miners are not interested in selling right now, right? That's a very, very important indication telling that we have not reached a minor capitulation because this is where the minor capitulation, when miners are capitulating and selling their Bitcoin, that's when we can see some really, really low numbers, right? But miners are not willing to sell at those prices. So we have not reached miners capitulation, okay? And the MV rv ratio the market value to realize value percentile where we are right now where we're in a blue territory we're in a blue zone right now but we are not in the worst case scenario yet just so you can see from the perspective right we are not reaching the you know the lower case uh the the, the worst case scenario the worst case of the bear market we have not reached this point yet so yes we can we can go lower than where we are right now however you know we are in a, some pretty pretty brutal sell-off right now and uh, the miners are not selling bitcoin daily rsi is its lowest since march without uh, march 12 2020 the COVID crash not just daily but weekly rsi is now de facto back where it's deep almost two years ago okay so current bitcoin weekly rsi 37 37 in March 2020 crash 35 we're so near the bottom right now so near the bottom I understand the crypto market shed more than one trillion dollar in market cap since November that's pretty brutal sell-off that we have seen in the last couple of months that have been intensifying but miners are not selling Bitcoin do they know something that we don't right they're not selling Bitcoin they're not interested in selling Bitcoin at this price points now you can see the mv uh, rv ratio right here and you can see that we are falling to some of the legendary opportunities ever in the in the history of bitcoin which is near one or below one this is the lowest points that bitcoin could ever go so yes we have some room for that and uh, we are not in the worst case of the bear market uh, right now we have not reached this point but we also never had a situation where we didn't reach this euphoria stage you know like we had in the previous cycle look at a 200 week moving average heat map you can see that we never reached the red circles during this cycle yes we did have this uh, green and uh, dark green but we never reached the red one and right now we're in a blue and blue territory has historically been a very good entry points for Bitcoin price. So just to understand, we are back to blue on a weekly. We are freezing. Uh, looking at relative unrealized pro profit and loss, 
right? We are still in this uh, yellow territory, so we are not in the like worst case scenario that we have seen in green, the capitulation. We are not there yet. It doesn't mean that we necessarily need to go there right now, but historically we do get to these levels of extreme capitulation on the green territory. We do get there some, you know, in the bear cycles. We are not there yet, okay? We are hanging in and the $30,000 support is crucial for the Bitcoin price. Also, the Puel multiple is not hitting the um, very, very worst case scenarios in the green, as you can see uh, by this chart. So we are not in the worst case scenario uh, right now, okay? <clears throat> and looking at Pi Cycle top indicator a couple months ago, actually in 2021, I pointed out to you this Pi Cycle top indicator that uh, predicted absolutely to the T the top when this green line crossed the orange line. I told you guys this is the this is the time to get out of the market. This is the time to sell. And since then we had some brutal brutal uh, months, right? Uh, ahead of us and uh, of course we did have the rally afterwards but now we have a very very good uh, sell-off Solana tanks another 16 <clears> percent <throat> and why it's dipping so much is because Solana network suffers yet another network outage DeFi users pay the price how many of these outage outages uh solana can withstand come on solana what the fuck is going on right that's why the funds are moving right now from solana but not just solana but look at this um ethereum terra luna binance smart chain avalanche solana like we're seeing double digits minus changes in the DeFi, except one phantom phantom is doing some something crazy that not other not other chain is doing not ethereum not terra luna not solana not polygon nobody but phantom is actually increased by 50 percent and it has the lowest market cap to tvl 0.413 right now which means that phantom right now is the highest uh coin that uh, you know that is out there that that should be valued much more it should be valued much more than it is valued right now it's uh what the most undervalued layer one coin uh, out of all of them and that is phantom right now phantom network DeFi ecosystem is not crypto thirst the largest so phantom is making some pretty big moves uh to say the least and it's the most undervalued coin from all the l1s right now and you can see it right here uh, dollar 94 um, if you look at the phantom FTM USD yeah a dollar 90 uh, looking at the daily RSI we're somewhere we are like in a 39 territory right now so it's holding it's holding better than others I would say but still you know we are not reaching those points back in uh, December we have seen December crash, November, December 2021. And I want to point out that we have the number one DeFi project on all Binance Smart Chain and number five on all times, all blockchains, all DeFi, all top decentralized finance apps while they're going down, Drip is actually going up and the value of Drip has been going up. I've been telling you guys for two months now to get some drip and to get some staking drip. And everyone who uh, staking drip are winning big time because drip is actually up 100% in the last couple of weeks, hitting a, a new all time high today of $118 per drip. Pretty, pretty incredible, guys. This is one of the only coins that are actually going up today and not going down not crashing like the entire crypto crash so that just shows you what it is capable of doing during the extreme market crashes and what will happen to the price of drip when we start to reverse when we start to go up again and it's all cyclical we are going to get up again 
uh, we already right hit the bottom, maybe at $30,000 dollars for the price of Bitcoin, we're going to start hitting back up again. It is inevitable, like ebb and flow, like the sunshine flows. Where is the price of drip can happen during the bullish cycle, right? According to the founder, $3,000 per coin is somewhere in this range following our extremely bullish growth analytics. And if you want to learn how you can stake drip and enjoy this juicy 24% or so after tax monthly re staking rewards, you can go to deflationarydailyroi.com and uh, watch my webinar and see exactly how all of this works and how you can stake the drip token. So some some good positive news for you today, that's for sure. As everything is tanking, everything is going down. In fact, drip is going up. So that's really, really cool to see. Yeah. Now, uh, you, you got some perspective. You see what's going on in the market, right? We are in a very good, attractive territory right now. It's not the worst case scenario. We do have more room to fall. And, uh, but, but, you know, we are in a very low point on the daily RSI. On the RSI level, we are so, so oversold right now. And this is historically has been a very, this is daily RSI, a very good entry point, a very good entry point to, to get in, right? Look at the weekly. Yeah, I mean, we can still fall. This is like, <clears throat> this is like the worst, the worst that Bitcoin has ever been in the January 2015 on uh, December. So yes, do we have some more room to go down? Yes, but we are nearing the bottom right now. We are and uh, I would not bet on Bitcoin uh, going here because here's what can happen, right? We can go and create a, a new all time high and then go back all the way to this point. Is it possible? Yes, everybody's bearish. Everybody's shouting right now. We, we are in a severe bear market. We're going and, you know, bear markets are usually last a year to a year and a half. Everyone is bearish right now. But when we are so bearish, when we are so pessimistic, when we're so extremely fearful, this is the time where, uh, you know, we can see some tremendous, tremendous gains. Now look at this week. This is actually, I want to show you, it's not really natural. You can see it all happened during one minute. This is one minute chart. It happened during this minute. Somebody has bought and sold <laughs> reaching $38,000 for Bitcoin. And at the same minute came back down to 33,000. That's not natural at all. So it's not some kind of a bullish uh, rally over here. It's just a one minute spike. Uh, something happened over there. It is not natural. So, um, if you look at a daily, it might confuse it. Like, what the heck? The bulls tried to go to $38,000 and came back down. It was like a one minute thing. One minute. Anyways, uh, that's my two Satoshis for the day. Keep your spirit strong. You know, now is a good time to DCA dollar cost average into projects like Phantom and others and have a longer term perspective for God's sakes. Don't see it for a day or a week. See it as like a year, uh, two years. See it at a longer term perspective. You'll be doing just fine. And, uh, and, and yeah, right now, so we're getting to some legendary levels uh, historically. And uh, even if you go that lower and you're like, okay, I'm going to wait I'm going to, because Bitcoin can go even lower. Look, it's already down more than 50 percent what do you what do you want more right you want you are waiting for 80 percent down right um we have strong fundamentals we have strong fundamentals remember miners are not selling uh, user base is growing and the liquid supply is not sinking it's actually growing so looking at this perspective fundamentally we can conclude the following thing that we are going to likely see that all time high once again, because the like the cycles are lengthening right now. And this can be historically very, very, very good opportunities to get it into the market if you can 
uh, right now at this moment it's never it's not going to be forever like this freezing we are going to see plus 20 percent plus 30 percent we are going to see that the harder the crash is the higher it's go <coughs> it's going to bounce uh, bounce up so that's what i want to share with you today smash up the like subscribe to the youtube channel bitcoin swallow club stay up to that date with what's happening in the crypto markets do not freak out learn how to take advantage of the opportunities and remember millionaires are being made during bear markets during um those high volatility when everything is crashing when fear in the market millionaires are being made so stay strong and i'll see you in the next episode of today in crypto show